Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you how to simulate uh, pipe flow using HISES. The objective uh, is to calculate the pressure drop in a pipe due to friction. Okay, so I will start from scratch accessing the HISES from Citrix cloud.qu.edu.qa and then you have to log in by user id of qu and you can see here apps so if you click apps you will see many apps here so we need here aspen hisis click this one open and uh, just uh, click permit use and then file okay it's loading Uh, click new a new case yes so your new, new file is open here uh, what you need to do first of all we need to add the fluid the component which component we have in our case we have water so click add and then search for the component if you type water you will get it add so what is added next step is the adding the fluid package which fluid package you want to use for the calculations uh, water is simple uh, fluid uh, so we can here you can click add and the list of different type of packages here for timing we can use peg robinson and just click uh, yeah it's showing okay and then we have to enter into the simulation so click simulation and you see all these unit operations here so we'll go for the pipe segment so click double click the pipe segment is coming here now we need to define inlet and outlet we can write in out the energy the energy transfer we are not interested in energy transfer but we have to give it a, 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 a parameter Q and no segment added now the message is no segment added so what we need to do we need to go to the rating click append segment okay we see here main thing pipe is here already length how much length we want to give so we'll give as in the lab so one meter outer diameter inner diameter so inner diameter we will give again as in the lab 14.5 mm the pipe material is smooth so once we click a smooth you can see the roughness is zero and outer diameter we can give suppose uh, assuming around 5 mm thickness so we can give 14 to uh, 20 mm now the message is heat transfer information under specified so we have to go to heat transfer here uh, overall heat transfer coefficient we have to give the ambient temperature so let's say 25 degrees centigrade segment STC ambient is also there so ambient temperature click estimated STC here just you need to take this one include pipe wall include SCT installation you can leave and include STC 
then let's go we need to define the pressure in worksheet temperature in room temperature you can say 25 pressure we are interested in pressure drop so but we have to give the pressure so around one atmosphere so 100 kilopascal the molar flow rate as i said you have to convert from the volumetric flow rate to the kilo mole per gram so if you do the calculation in your data you have like a 4 lpm 4 mean is uh, 4 lpm it means liter per minute if you transfer this to 4 liter per minute so per second it becomes 4 by 60 liter then uh, in meter cube 0 0.001 in, in meter cube so this is the flow rate in meter cube per second if we multiply by the density it becomes 1000 kg uh, per meter cube it becomes mass flow rate and we define and uh, divide by the molar mass of the water it becomes molar flow rate so what is the wrong here okay so again uh, coming back to this converting the volumetric flow rate to the molar flow rate so one of the data in lab uh, is like 4 lpm 4 liter per minute so liter per minute if you divide by 60 it becomes liter per second and then if you divide by 1000 it becomes meter cube per second volumetric flow rate multiplied by the density of water will become the mass flow rate okay and mass flow rate is like a kg per second now so if we divide by the molar mass or molecular weight of the water it will be kilo mole per second and in in high seas you see here we need a molar flow rate in kilo mole per hour so what we need to do we need to multiply by 60 times 60 to make it kilo mole per hour so which is 13.33 so now we will enter this kilo mole per hour one of the lab beta 13.33 uh, not solve why we need to give the composition composition we have only water one is one here then just click ok and that's it ok means now it's green this means it's solved so we can see go to the performance for the post processing of the result uh, performance what do we have profile weave profile and you can see at the different length position pressure is being calculated and if you want to see the plot click the plot and we need to do the pressure where is pressure here pressure and you see the profile here pressure is decreasing along the length of diameter uh, uh, sorry along the length of pipe so p in is this p out is this so with this flow rate at this this flow rate pressure drop is 100 minus 98.805 so again if you want you can see here 
pressure 100 and then 99.80 so 0.2 kilopascal is a pressure drop at this flow rate so if you want to change the flow rate and see the uh, pressure drop you can just change it here 13.33 if i make it 20 and you can see right away the result so pressure out is less now so increasing the flow rate is increasing the pressure drop which makes sense so similarly you can change other parameters and study the effect of uh, all the parameters like diameter the flow rate the fluid viscosity and so on that's it thank you